Okay, let's pray. Hands together. Close your eyes. Lord, thank you for uh, this day and thank you that we can learn more about you. So we pray, Lord, that today's lesson and the craft will bring glory to you in the hearts of the children here. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, questions. I think some questions. Questions. Who remembers from last week? What is it called when you die on a cross? What is it called, Timothy? Crucifixion. crucifixion. And how many people was Jesus crucified with? Do you remember, Simon? Two. Two. That's right. Hand up if you know how many days. Jesus' soul descended into hell. How many days? Do you know? Four weeks. No, not four weeks. Do you know? Three days and three nights. Like Jonah was in the heart of the whale's belly. Hello. None of you guys have your vests on today. <laughs> good. You got your vest on. I like it. Looks good. Okay. Let's sit properly, Atticus. Sit straight. Thank you. Sit straight. Move across. Yeah, sit straight. That's it. All right, so today we're talking about Jesus. Jesus is risen again. Because what happened after three days? What happened? He got put in the tomb. Yeah, that's right. That's when he died. His body was put in the tomb. But what happened after three days? He, he got alive. That's it. He got alive. Yeah, another way you can say that. He's risen again. He rose again. Or you can say he resurrected. Resurrected from the dead isn't he? He came back to, to show us that he overcame death. He overcame that punishment for us. Right? Remember the suffering and remember all that? And he died on the cross, buried, soul went into hell, and three days later Jesus is risen again. So I'm just going to share with you some of the verses from John 20 of what happened after he rose again. So Mary Magdalene, remember that name, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early on Sunday morning and she finds the tomb empty. So she goes and tells, who's this? Who remembers? Mary Magdalene. She goes and tells, this is Peter and John. I think I've got this the right way around. Peter and John. Okay. Saying, the body's missing. So what do Peter and John do? They run, run to the tomb just to see for themselves. They get there, and here's John. So you remember, this is Peter and John. And John runs even faster than Peter. Who gets there first? Yeah, John gets there first. And then Peter comes, and they're like, oh, what's happened? The body's missing. So they go back wondering, oh, I wonder where the, the body is. It says here, for as they yet, John 20 verse 9, for as yet they knew not the scripture that he must rise again from the dead. So they were shocked because they still didn't understand that Jesus was going to rise again from the dead. So Mary Magdalene, so who was the two disciples that she went and told? Timothy? Peter and John, very good. And this is, what's her name? Mary Magdalene. So she's there outside crying. And she sees two angels that are sitting, when she saw them, they were sitting at the head and the feet of Jesus. And they're saying, you know, why are you weeping? And she says, well, I don't know, you know, where they've put the Lord. So she turns around and she sees somebody walking in that garden. And you know who she thought it was? She thought it was the gardener taking care of the garden out there. And this man, who she doesn't know who it is yet, asks Mary, oh, I'm not, I, haven't got, I haven't got any questions for you guys yet. <laughs> you guys are putting your hand up, I haven't even asked any questions. This man asks Mary, why are you crying? Why weepest thou? And she says, well, if they've taken my Lord, and he says, you know, if you've carried his body somewhere, Tell me where you've carried it and I can go and get it. And then, you know what? 
this man says to her? He says, Mary. And then she realizes, who is this person? Who? Abel. Jesus. <laughs> Very good. It's Jesus. He's risen again. She realizes that she's talking to Jesus. Jesus has risen again from the dead. Look at her. She goes from crying to she's happy. She realizes this. Her Lord has risen again. Our Lord has risen again. And you know what? She goes and she tells all the other disciples. And they're a little bit in disbelief. They're not sure. Like, is this actually what happened? So she's saying, hey, I've seen the Lord. Look, John 20, verse 18. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things unto her. Now, later that night, the disciples are gathered together. They're a little bit scared at this time because they're worried they're going to get in trouble because of the things they believe, the things they're doing. And Jesus appears to them. Can you see him? <gasps> he appears to them. So they go and tell. Who do, you, do you guys know who this is? They go and tell that they've seen Jesus. What's this person's name? Does anyone know the story? No, not Judas. His name starts with a T. Thomas. Thomas is known as Doubting Thomas. So they tell Thomas, we've seen the risen Lord. And look, does he look happy? It's like, hey, he's saying, hey, until I see his hands and I touch his side, I won't believe that he's risen from the dead. So he doesn't look very happy. You know, they're all happy that they've seen Jesus. But he is what they call Doubting Thomas. Doubting Thomas. You don't want to be a doubting Thomas. When you hear the word of God, when you hear the good news, you don't want to doubt, you want to believe it. So, next week, the disciples are together again. <gasps> this time, Thomas is with them. And who appears again? Who do you think it is? Jesus. Jesus. Here he is. And now Thomas sees Jesus. What is this? What are these in his hands? Do you know? That's it. The print from the nail. So he's showing the print. And you know what Jesus says to him? Look at what he says to him in John 20, verse 27. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hand. So he says, Come, touch it. And reach hither thy hand and thrust it into my side. And look at this. And be not faithless, but believing. So Jesus appears to him and says, look at my hands, feel the side. He says, hey, believe that I've risen from the dead. Now Thomas believes. He says to him, my Lord and my God. He acknowledges Jesus is our God. And he's now he's happy, isn't he? And look at what Jesus says to Thomas. Last verse I'm going to show you. John 20, verse 29. Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. He's saying, Thomas, you have seen me risen again. That's why you believe. But look at this. He says, blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. So who is that? That's us. Right? We haven't seen Jesus rise from the dead, but we have heard about it. And Jesus says, you know what? You are even more blessed if you don't see it, and yet you believe that Jesus has risen again from the dead. So that's what we have to believe in order to be saved. Oh, questions. Let's see if you were listening. So how, who remembers the name of the lady that saw the tomb empty at the beginning? Mary Magdalene, that's right. And who did she go and tell? Who were the two disciples that she went to tell? John and Peter. John and Peter, very good. And when they ran to the tomb, who got there first? Um, Peter. Oh, no, it's the other one, close. John. 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 Oh, no, no, you can't say it unless I choose you, okay? And last question, what was the name 
of the one who was doubting, who didn't, didn't believe that Jesus had risen again from the dead. Tom. Thomas. Very good. Very good. All right, today we have a craft, right? So we're more blessed because we didn't see Jesus rise again from the dead, but we have to believe it. So today we've got a craft, and the craft today, I'll just show you before we get up. Thank you. So look at what Jesus says. He says, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. So this is from John 2.19. So this is Jesus telling them, hey, when he dies, he's going to rise again from the dead. And when we spin this plate, we can see the different events that happen when he, when he died and rose again. So this was the Last Supper. Oh, we go this way. Last Supper. This is when he was crucified. And how many days later did he rise? Was he buried? How many days? How many days, Abel? Three days, very good. And three days later, he rose again. All right, let's all stand up. I'm going to go to the back.